Regarding the whole like cinematic phase and the amount of people who have been in defense of this, I, I have said this already, but I'm going to say it for public for the people to hear. And that is, I genuinely 100% believe without a shadow of a doubt, the people who are showing for this, people who are going out of the way to go. Now, like graphic fidelity is very important in our video games. We need to have these visuals. We need to have these high res visuals. We need to have photorealism. We need to have 120 frames per second, so on and so forth. The reason why I think a number of people are showing for them is not because they intend to buy the games. And it's not even because they intend to ever play them. I think it is 100% because these people will want to watch these games as movies. That's why I think ultimately a lot of these games that are photorealistic are, you, there is so much of an audience that's pushing for it. And it's not like I'm talking on my ass here because look up The Last of Us, look up Uncharted, look up like all these different games with high res photorealistic graphic fidelity visuals. And then look them up on YouTube See how many views videos that are full movie or all cutscenes get. And I assure you, a vast majority of those views are not going to people are not coming from people who have played the game as much as they are coming from people who would very much rather watch the game. And I think yeah. well, I Here's the thing, too, it might sound like I'm just calling some people out, and I, I, I'm not saying that. I am, but I'm not saying that. <laughs> but I, here's the thing, too, and I think it is coming, f it is like an issue that has to be tackled with some nuance, because it would be easy for me to say, yeah, uh, anybody who shills for the cinematic games, you just don't even bother playing these video games. It would be so easy to say shit like that. But I know, the answer is right in front of us. The games are 70 bucks and pushing over a hundred bucks at times. These games are fucking expensive. This is also something that has absolutely been uh, broken down. Like there is a wonderful video breaking down the subject of inflation regarding media and how certain people will just push off the games being 70 bucks and plus for certain one reason after another. And how a lot of these reasons, if you break it down and look at like the history, look at the facts, they really fall apart. And it's essentially like back to that whole thing of like people watching a lot of these cinematic uh, games is that I do think that there are a decent amount of people that maybe not necessarily watch the entire game, but more so go, okay, is this game worth it? And I don't want to pay this much money for this brand new game and realize that I fucking hate it. I want to see it like without any commentary. I want to see it without using any content creator. I want to see it just like as a movie on YouTube and then judge it from that. And generally, yeah, I think um, there's a good chunk of people like who ch take a look at those videos and go, okay, so this is what there is to show. Like, and probably some people who are who are already well tired of the whole cinematic phase going, uh, yeah, okay, okay, look, it looks real. Yeah, I can see every pore on Abby's face when she's getting raw docked. I don't care. Can what is the gameplay look like? Oh, the gameplay is sort of like this third person beat em up and there's different like combos I can pull. There's different weapons I can use. Okay, I, I kind of like this. I You know what? I'm interested in buying it. But that does not stop particularly the Twitter gamers from engaging in rage baiting for the sake of views, for the sake of attention, just because Hey, look at me, guys. I have Last of Us 2. It has, like, 60 plus frames, and you can see every pore on fucking Joe's face and everything, and, and, and Ellie's face, and then he also has, like, realistic visuals and everything, and it's so awesome and cute. That's the thing nobody talks about The Last of Us 2 has amazing gameplay, but when it lets you play it. Honestly, the, the idea of just watching it to see if you would be interested in it, Honestly, I think more people should just do as a whole. Because, like you, like when you did for, uh, 
for a Marco and the Galaxy Dragon. He made me oh, it made me want to grab it. I te- technically didn't because I lost my job at the time. Ah, but that's the kind of power. That's the kind. Yeah, of, but that's the power type of power this has. I think one of the most flawed arguments will always be well games were $90 back in the early 2000s, so you should be happy they're 70, now not realizing inflation exists or the change of currency. Yeah, games were not, and I, I speak this from somebody who grew up in the 2000s, games were not 90 bucks, they were 60. And a lot of the games, this was well before DLC was a major thing, so a lot of the games that came in packages top top price it went from 50 bucks to 60 bucks essentially for video games they were absolutely cheaper that's not even a contest i was and source of proof i was fucking there in the stores buying games yep yeah and then that's yeah i remember i remember those days i remember those days before uh that became a big no-no also without game updates, though. You were screwed if it didn't work. Yeah, I think, isn't that what also happened to stuff like uh, Kingdom Hearts, where it's just like it had a lot of issues starting out, and then they came up with, like, Final Mix, which had a lot of patches and whatnot to the game? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, was, it wasn't until, uh, unfortunately, Final Mix at the time was uh, Japan only. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, essentially with new content, 